I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who supported our campaign and supported our battle for liberty. We are now in a very crucial time in American history. I believe we need to have the spirit of 1776 in this time of deceit. We have a government now that's truly based upon coercion and compulsion. They use free market words, they use free market statements to try to fool us. Rhetoric is done. We're looking for truth. We're looking for men and women that will honor their oath and honoring their oath, we'll see that in the expression how they do their job. So what I want to talk about is the optimism I have. George Orwell talked about in the ultimate day of the seat, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. That's why it's crucially important that we don't waver in the truth. Principles that can be compromised are not principles at all. That is why we're in the position we are right now. We have a government at the local, state, and federal level that actually redistributes our private property, our hard work, and our wealth at their decision, and then sometimes exempt themselves. The two questions I asked through the whole campaign was, who is sovereign and what is the legitimate role of government? And both those are in the second paragraph of our Declaration of Independence. The creator of the universe made us in his image. We're his stewards. He gave us inalienable rights. Not the government. Not the government at all. He did. And the only legitimate role of government is the very next sentence. To secure these rights. Which rights? The individual's inalienable rights. A government institute amongst men driving their just powers for consent of the governed. Get that? The consent comes from the sovereign, you and me. Not to be ruled over, but have unbiased umpires protect an equal opportunity at the beginning, protecting our inalienable rights. The moment any government at any level oversteps their bounds, it is illegitimate. George Washington said, the amount of, the amount of tyranny you live under, the amount of tyranny you live, uh, accept is the amount of tyranny you live under. That's why it's important we look through those prism of those first two questions. Those first two questions. We answer those correctly as individuals. We cannot be fooled again. Now we hear today, you must choose a side. You must choose a side. Washington warned about that in his farewell address. Those 51 paragraphs are wisdom we must go back to to articulate the future issues we have today. He warned about going down these un, these these complete blind faith down party lines. If a party does not honor the Constitution, it's not worth following. I say we take the Constitution back. We do that if we don't waver on those core principles. Me personally, I'm not for sale. No 30 pieces of silver, nothing can sell me on these core principles. I am not a perfect man by no means. I'm saved by grace, but I know what core principles are. I understand that we have to get men and women of honor to accept this and republic of this phenomenal country can shine again. When Franklin was asked, a monarchy or republic? He said a republic if you can keep it. Liberty is a verb. We must understand that the power we have that he bestowed upon us if we express this. If we don't, we're throwing away the most important gift we've been given by our Creator. So I thank you so much for this last 18 months. It's been exhilarating. It's exciting. But I believe we've just begun. We're starting this, this new format called The Constitutional Path to Liberty. We have web shows. We'll do radio shows, speak, articles, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter. We're going to be across all platforms asking those questions and challenging challenging every official that wants to be our agent, our representative. If they do not understand the Constitution, then we must not support them. We find the right men and women that honor their oath. We have a paradigm shift, not just for our generation, but for multiple generations to come. I thank you for this journey. If you're interested in joining our newsletter, at the bottom of this webpage, you could have a place to sign up for that. We get a newsletter probably twice a week. All I'm telling you is, the man and woman to make the difference that can really make a change in our lives 